Mate, we having a sausage party up in here? Awesome. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the kitchen. I'm happy to be cooking for you again. So, lately I've had a lot of people tag me and message me saying, you need to show them how to cook some red beans. And I'm over here going, who is them? <laughs> Either way, I know I've done red beans in a slow cooker, but I haven't done them over the stove. So I said, maybe now's a good time. And it just so happens that the fine folks of Savoise hooked me up with some hickory smoked pork sausage. Whew, a one pound package with five more of them, although it's not the size that matters. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and cook some food and we're not gonna whine about it. <laughs> All right guys, y'all stick around. I'm about to knock this out. Paya! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got one pot heating up. We're gonna get to this one soon. Of course, as y'all know, we gotta come over to our prepping station where we gotta chop some vegetables. Okay, so what we got here is one bell pepper, one yellow onion, three cloves of garlic, and three sticks of celery. Let's get crack a lacking. Day root, day root, day ruins on paya. He don't need no water cause it makes him have to pee. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take this and put it in a bowl off to the side and cut up some sausage. Okay, we got our vegetables off to the side. So now we're gonna get started cutting up our meat we have one pound of Savoie's hickory smoked pork sausage, and we also have half a pound of hickory smoked tasso given to me by Savoie's. So your tasso is basically smoked seasoned ham. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it up into some smaller pieces, and we're gonna slice this sausage. And there you go. All right, let's get searing. All right, first we're gonna go ahead and sear our sausage. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we're trying to get a slight browning on our sausage here, and then we're gonna drop the tasso in. All right, now we're gonna drop the tasso in. So your pork sausage is a leaner sausage. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of oil in this pot. I probably should have done that myself here, but it's all gonna work out. I just may need a little bit of oil when I saute my vegetables. All right, we've removed our sausage. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of vegetable oil and drop in our vegetables. What we wanna do is just keep moving this all around and get them drippings up from the bottom of the pan. Okay, so while that's cooking and our pot off to the side over here, we got five cups of water. We are also adding 32 ounces of chicken broth. Ooh, be careful with that. Turn your heat on high. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Okay, so in our sink over here, we got some dry kidney beans that we have washed and put our hands through to see if we got any broken pieces, just to make them look all pretty. And we're gonna take these and add them to our pot. Here we go. We're gonna bring that to a boil. Meanwhile, we're gonna keep stirring our vegetables over here. Just wanna get them nice and soft. All right, the beans are boiling. So look, we're gonna monitor our heat here to make sure they don't boil right out of this pot, but we do wanna keep a good rolling boil for at least 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll keep stirring our vegetables. So some people like to soak their beans overnight, but you might forget to do that. And the next day, you start going, I didn't soak my beans. <laughs> So this here is a way of doing it without having to worry about whether or not you soaked your beans. Okay guys, so we're about to dump the beans in this pot right here. For now, we're gonna go ahead and add all of our meat back in. You should get that stirred around real good. All right, our beans have boiled for 10 minutes. So now we turn our fire off. And we're gonna dump that into that right up. 
There we go. Booyah. All right, so a lot of water evaporated out of our other pot. So we're gonna add another two cups of water right here. Here we go. Good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and season this. One tablespoon of Cajun or Creole seasoning. One teaspoon of salt. A tablespoon of parsley flakes. And two bay leaves. Paya! Let's get that mixed around real good. Okay, so I've moved this over to my center burner here. I'm gonna bring this thing to a boil and then I'm gonna cover it, lower the simmer, and let it cook for two hours. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and cover that up and lower our fire to simmer. Let it cook for two hours. All right, let's take a look at this. Yeah, buddy. So I'm gonna make sure I turn the fire off here. Just, whoa, calm down, bah. So I'll turn the fire off because I don't want to evaporate too much more liquid here. I also wanna get these bay leaves out of here. So that's perfect, that's right there. I'll find the other one. All right, let's go ahead and stir this up. Looks great. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and thicken these bad boys up. There's a couple of different ways people like to do it. Some people may add some cornstarch and cold water mixed together in here, some butter. Me personally, I like to take beans out, just the beans, drain that, and put them in a bowl off to the side, and I'll mash them up, and I'll have a nice creamy mixture I can throw back in here. Okay, so we're just going to mash these up with a fork and get all that creamy goodness out of there. We're gonna pour it right back in. And there you go. I'm trying to pour as much as I can in there like this. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop out the rest. You just mix that around and that'll help thicken it up. And you can repeat this as much as you want. You could do less than what I did. You can do more than what I did. It just all depends on you. Consistency is a preference. Take a look at this. Ooh, boy. <laughs> hey, it's the bay leaf. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, look, you're cooking some rice and you're plate up. So let's get down. Get down. Oh, that aroma. Y'all, I am so hungry. And I've got some cornbread back there. I didn't even fix me a piece. I just want to dive into this. All right, so I'm going to let you guys know. If you want to check out Savoir's products, hit up their website, www.savoisfoods.com. You'll find this awesome hickory smoked pork sausage along with other great products. Okay, enough talking. Let's take a bite. Beautiful. Mm. Mmm, that is what you're looking for in red beans. Let me tell you, good red beans goes hand in hand with good sausage. And this sausage just has that great smoky flavor you're looking for. And that tasso gives it a good saltiness too. Mmm, this is really good. Mmm, mmm. Well, all right, guys, we done did that again. Y'all wanted some red beans? I knocked that out. So, go ahead and make this over the stove and you tell me what you think. But for now, I'm gonna knock these out. If there's anyone else out there who's interested in the Cajun Ninja featuring products on my page, just hit me up on Instagram or Facebook at the Cajun Ninja. That's a wrap. Until next time, Paya!